Hello and welcome to another episode of Autocar Professional Dialogues. Today we have with us Mr. Vikas Marwa, CEO of Lumax Auto Technologies. Mr. Marwa, thank you very much for speaking to us and for your time. Thank you. Thank you for meeting me. I uh, want to have a quick overview of LATL's business in, in India right now. And you know, where do you see the company going forward? So Lumax Auto Technologies is one of the listed entities at Lumax Group, uh, publicly listed entities. Uh, we closed the year FY23 at about 1850 crore revenue uh, at a decent profitability. Uh, we are on an aggressive growth path uh, and currently work with uh, nine overseas partners, eight of them joint venture partners and one uh, technical partner. Um, our legacy businesses started from uh, uh, the molding, uh, the conventional plastic molding and uh, fabrication. Uh, however, over the last uh, two decades, we have expanded on to the other product lines. And this is, uh, you can say, this is a non-lighting uh, arm of Lumex mm. Group. Uh, we started with our flagship uh, business for Lumex Auto Technology right now, which is the transmission domain um, heralded by Lumex Mano Gear Shifter Division. Uh, the gear shifter business Lumex entered way back in 1997, so it's been uh, about 25 years journey in the gear shifter uh, lever manufacturing. However, the Mano TA happened in 2007 and then 2014 we made a joint venture with Mano Corporation of Japan. Uh, we are the market leaders in this business segment today. And uh, in our aim to become a full system supplier, then we went ahead and made a joint venture with a German auto component company called Yop, mm -hmm. uh, who are the market leaders in Europe for the shift tower business, thereby enabling us to become a full system supplier going ahead. But besides the transmission domain, uh, we have an emission domain uh, where we have uh, the Lumex Cornalia joint venture with Cornalia of Italy. We make air intake systems, air filters, ducts, uh, urea tanks and now very shortly plastic fuel tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, we are strategic suppliers to some of the biggest OEMs, uh, more as a single source in that uh, in that business. Uh, that business is housed in uh, uh, Pune and Pantnagar as of now. Uh, while Lumex Mano is uh, branched out into south towards Bangalore and also in Gujarat mm -hmm. and uh, we will be shortly expanding more towards the west also maybe in a year or so. Okay. I'll come back to the other domains in a bit, but you know I want to focus on the your main core business, which is shift selectors and you know these transmission shifters. So what is happening there? I mean, are you are you seeing a transition in the market from conventional manual shifters to now more of automatic AMT, beat, you know, AT, DCT, whatever? Mm -hmm. So is that a trend that you are seeing? And you know, going forward, what more? You know, in which direction are you are you going to see the the business going there? So very interesting question when you. Think of uh, gear shift lever assemblies and everything. What immediately comes to your mind is that uh, in terms of the touch and feel experience for any customer, uh, this is probably one of the first products, you know, where the customer rests uh, his or her hand on the moment they step into a vehicle. Uh, we sit there in this space. Uh, the conventional gear shift levers uh, started way back from the, from the flow type uh, emerging gear shifters and knobs. Uh, they have transitioned. Uh, the manual gear shifter market still continues to be the largest play right now in terms of the manual transmission which is anyway there in India to a great extent. But um, the growth of the AT and the AMT shifters has been I would say stupendous in the last uh, three to four years mm -hmm. and uh, even during the pandemic a lot of new model rollouts that we saw. Uh, the SOP volumes uh, completely reversed from what even the OEMs were projecting right. of uh, let's say this X percentage would be manual and the X percentage would be AT or AMT. Right. Um, the situation just reversed because the customers uh, in terms of uh, increasing uh, purchase power wanting more comfort and more convenience uh, from their drive shift feel right. are now preferring to opt for the automatic and the, and the AMT based uh, solutions and this is what the AIM, uh, OEMs are offering. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lumex Manno joint venture continues to be in a very uh, advantageous position here having transitioned from being the largest uh, manufacturer of manual gear shift levers on to becoming the largest uh, automatic gear shifters now in the country today. Uh, we have a substantial market presence uh, in excess of 50 percent 
on the passenger vehicle side, mm -hmm. making us by far the largest gear shift lever manufacturer in the country. A uh, couple of OEMs have also decided to opt for even more future ready solutions like the dual clutch transmission yeah. uh, gear shifter, which is a dual PCB based, very advanced gear shifter. Mm -hmm. uh, happy to share with you that Lumex Mano is the first localized manufacturer for this type of technology also in India, already commercialized and in SOP with one of the uh, OEM customers that we have. Uh, going ahead, uh, I would say that the gear shift lever technology is powertrain agnostic only to the extent of the type of gear shifter that we supply to the OEM. And to this uh, extent, uh, the company continues to get future ready in terms of the EV shifter technologies, the monostable gear shifter technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we have EV gear shifters already commercialized and in production. Uh, and a few more that are approaching the SOP now. We work on both, both CAN based uh, EV shifters and those with the hall sensor effect. Uh, and even uh, the rotary type gear shifter is uh, currently under development for, uh, for one of the OEMs along with uh, technical collaboration that uh, we have with Mano, uh, the joint venture uh, collaboration. I think the strategy driver for this particular joint venture and the reason for our uh, uh, being able to the confidence to the OEM customers has been uh, conceived in India, design in India, make in India, supply to the Indian OEMs and going ahead also supply to the overseas uh, mm -hmm. customers. That has been the driving mantra for Lumex Mano. Uh, the company has already filed seven patent uh, uh, you know, applications and five of them have been already have been published. Uh, the company continues to be self-reliant on localization. We are operating with more than 85% localization here if we see the overall uh, localization factor. We are also leveraging very strongly our in-house electronics capability in terms of PCB SMT. Mm -hmm. So that is something again which is happening in-house for our uh, for our gear shifter like AMT, DCT, everything. Uh, we see a strong future ahead and, uh, and, uh, and a field play where probably I think for the next decade uh, we should remain uh, capable and competent and uh, be ready to supply to the OEMs as their needs emerge. Uh, we transitioned on to become a full system supplier with YOP and uh, this joint venture with YOP was signed in 2019. Uh, of course, then the pandemic struck. But as we speak, we are sitting on a very healthy order book uh, now generated uh, from uh, top OEM customers in India. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should be able to uh, be targeting at least 20% uh, of the Indian OEM market over the next 24 to 36 months, even on that particular joint venture for the products that we currently have. So this is overall the, 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 the transmission strategy that uh, we have in place to be able to growing together along with the, uh, with the Japanese excellence and the German innovation in the product categories which get the entire transmission system right. together.